Hello everyone, welcome back. So in our Selenium Java framework series, today we are going to see how we can restructure our Chrome options with the desired capabilities based on the, the new recommendation from the Selenium 4 version. And then we will try to set up the Chrome options and also the Firefox, uh, Firefox options in our Selenium Java framework. So if you would have seen in our previous sessions right on the framework designing where we have used like uh, the locally how will you run it remote in the sense how will you run it into the docker containers now to run it into the docker containers you need set in capabilities now to run it into the github actions let's say that now you need set in more options that is nothing but the browser options enable browser options like this is one of the key we have used if you made it as true you need to make these three parameters set so these are nothing but option arguments now these org option arguments we were merging with our capabilities now with the change into the selenium 4 right we don't really need these capabilities to explicitly mention that with the options itself we can set certain capabilities that is what we will be restructuring now okay now for this let me show you the selenium if you go to the selenium documentation they have completely completely uh, changed the documentation they are adding more and more information as they are passing by the time actually and you can see the selenium 4.0 version couple of things they are giving like uh, they are making the w3c compliant right the w3c web driver capabilities now to understand more that you can simply go into this actually and here you can get all the capabilities that you need okay now you can see there is a like before the uh, the classic way of where you were get taking a ca desired capabilities of uh, caps one option and then you were taking whether it is chrome firefox ads uh, based on the browser you were setting up the capabilities okay and then you were merging with your options actually there wherever you need the options and the capabilities now what they are introducing they are saying that you can use the firefox options and you can set all these things whatever you are setting up like the platform the version the same thing you can see also they are setting it up here as well now that is what we are going to do so we will be get rid of this desired capabilities so at this moment i will be disabling or commenting that now I will take all these Chrome options or Firefox options from this, uh, what do you call, global to this particular method instead of taking there, I will take it very specific to here actually because if you see that this Chrome options is only applicable when the browser contains Chrome browser in the sense the like your maven test or whatever you are sending or like your parameters right into your test ng xml if you remember we were sending the values like chrome firefox and all those things now when we want to run into the chrome browser it means that we need to redirect our test cases into the chrome browser right by specific options and also the capabilities that is what we are going to do so i am keeping that within the if conditions scope actually this one and now here i will say equal ignore quiz which one the enable browser options like whenever you are running into certain environments they need headless mode actually that is where actually we have created one variable and or a parameter which you can send it from your maven command we'll see that now if you see that if it is set as true then i'm creating a method that is the get chrome options before we were sending the capabilities as our parameter now i don't need that and i will be assigning certain options these options will be coming sorry this is options right now these options are coming i can even take it as a c options so that you can see these are the chrome options get chrome options now let's see what is the implementation implementation here and as I told we will be get rid of this desired capabilities and here I will be creating some local variable chrome options only here I am setting up a headless everything will remain same only as I told especially when you want to run it into the github actions you need the headless now if you are using the latest browser right now the headless mode will be changing actually especially when you are taking your uh, 109 version of your chrome then instead of just the headless you will be now using headless equal to new so here I will be keeping that equal to new. 
this is one of the way and all this merging and setting the capabilities everything now i don't need actually i just need to set the chrome options right so i'm taking this i mean returning this chrome option and assigning to this variable this options variable c options you can see that now this C options I will be using here actually. Now at this moment if you see if I want to run it into the local right I don't need any kind of these kind of options because I don't want to run it into the headless. So I will run as usual as your normal way that how you are doing it. But into the remote remote in the sense let's say you want to run it into the docker container at that moment I need to specify what is the docker environment if there is a particular version is there or not there all those things I need to specify. Now here what I'm going to do I will even comment these two lines also. Now instead of that I will be taking this C options. See when I'm taking the C options it means that the browser is Chrome that is at least we are sure. Now if I put a dot you can see there is an option set platform name. Here before we were giving the capability as a set platform right. This is set platform name and I don't need to use the platform dot Linux here because these needed a platform data type but this need a simple string you can see that a string platform and here I will simply put it as a Linux. Now there are three different uh, parameters it can accept uh, Windows, Mac and Linux. If you go to this right here I just looked into that this browser uh, just a second platform name right now if I search this right into this they are giving three different options you can see that the values are Linux Mac and Windows like this any version of the Mac uh, Microsoft Windows you can do that so wherever it is matching that it will run the test cases now that is the benefit here now this C, this C options right that I will be sending into this as my second parameter of this remote web driver now that is what exactly they are doing here now you can see remote web driver the url and then the browser options okay that is how and if you want to use the windows and a specific browser version you can set that up also you can simply put c options dot and you can get the browser version like c options dot set browser and you can see browser version at this moment I don't have multiple browsers installed multiple browser versions of the Chrome it is not installed so I'm making a street whatever the Chrome version is installed on that you run the test case now this is your C options that is nothing but Chrome options the same thing if you want to run into the Firefox let's say now let's say that the platform you want to run it into the local like how I am giving here new chrome driver here also new firefox driver no changes but I need to set it up if somebody want to run this actually like uh, this one actually enable browser options if you want to set it as a headless mode so you will be setting this up here now you can see enable browser option equal ignore case there is one way actually which we can do in fact actually if I keep it at the beginning right then you can get these chrome options directly from there now here firefox options and I will say f options equal to new firefox options no parameter nothing now here this is f options now here i will say get here there is one more method which i disabled because i told before that we will be setting it up later so i will take this and as i told no capabilities i will be setting it here and here if you come back here right and this one you will be calling that get ff options okay now this ff option f options right if you want to set it if you want to set this equal ignore case i mean this particular thing right enable browser options then you can send it locally you want to run but you want to run it into the headless mode then you can use this option okay now let's say that you want to run it into the remote into the docker container as I told I will be now disabling these two things or commenting out and here I will say f options dot set platform name and here as usual Linux I will be setting it up now this f options I will put it as my parameter here the second parameter that's it nothing else you need to do even here also you can put it this c options okay 
if someone want to run it into the headless mode and in local they need to pass this parameter okay and you can see this app parameters a lot of parameters i have put it and let's see it is throwing certain errors this is because we haven't updated these things right so i will be doing all these things and here instead of this i will say firefox options and here this is oops sorry that was not intended and here i will put it and everything else i will just put it as fo just to naming for better naming convention here fo and here fo and return this fo that's it okay and you don't need to change this headless this should stay as it is only it's only related to the chrome only where they are suggesting into headless equal to new actually here nothing else is really required okay my chrome options and firefox options both are set it normally what happens if you run this test right because it is my like if you see there is an error actually that got if i want to run it into the local there is no problem actually here if you run it in local now i will show you how to utilize these options platform and everything if you are if you haven't watched my previous video then i will show you this one okay and now let's run this into our local actually first now here what i'm going to do if you want to run it into the local right local with enable browser option it means that i want to run it into the headless mode for now and you can see mvn test it means that the command for mvn and this is the parameter which i was talking there and then the test ng xml this is the uh, syntax actually to run your test ng xml now let's enter it and it should run into the non gui mode and you can see that uh, it is throwing some error actually some socket uh, connection forbidden and the status code is 403 now this is the problem is that uh, with the chrome version now if you see this actually there was a change log that i was looking into remote allow origins for the chrome actually so after i think chrome uh, 101 or 111 version actually they needed actually this capability remote allow origin this is the chrome capability they were looking for to run that now what we used to do that if you go to this here we were we have to add that as a co dot add arguments and then remote allow origin but what actually selenium did because after chrome version 111 right this is mandatory so they put it internally actually into the selenium as a default chrome option so you don't need to really worry about that but the only thing is that you need to now change your browser uh, your selenium your dependency to 4.8.2 now what i'm going to do here into this pom.xml instead of this 4.8.2 i will take it as 4.8.3 because that is the latest version and i will be loading my maven dependency so that it will install the new package and i can run this test okay seems like everything is good now let me take it and let me open the command prompt again and run this again okay i just changed the version actually selenium dependency and the chrome launched but it is launched with a non gui mode and i should be good it should now execute the test cases and you can see it is now firefox also launched but then it is in non gui mode only headless mode it is running these are simply just some logs actually so don't worry about that and if you see that there were six test cases got executed uh no two should be failed why it is showing five got passed and one got failed that is what it is showing here uh, because of some uh, actually by intentionally i think we have kept actually one wrong so that it should even through the exception so that is how actually you can run it now even you can run this into your uh, what do you call it, into the github actions let me show you that that configuration so if you see this right here i have already set up that enable browser option equal to true okay and then here you can set it up shoot xml file what i was showing you here right to you guys uh, d sure file shoot xml file equal to this one this one even you can execute it here also let me show you that so first thing is that i will commit all these things uh, let me say that restructuring restructure 
Chrome and FF options. Okay. Now I will be commit and push this one. Commit anyway and push and then it should be successful. Now let me open my repository. So I'll go to my repository here and then go to the Selenium Java framework and I should see that new commit. Let's see that new commit. Okay, it didn't happen. I think there is some problem is happening. Let's see that. Okay, seems like there is some problem to push this code into the GitHub. I will try to rectify this. But once I will push this code into the Git repo right here, you can simply go back into the actions class. I mean this actions tab and here and then here I can simply go into this browser name i will remain this as chrome and the regex to so regex to the run a particular test so i can run a particular test and if i say run workflow it should trigger that properly so hope this uh, restructuring of these options and what are the new changes that is coming into the selenium 4 will be helping you to change or upgrade your framework for a betterment or for better performance. So that's pretty much it for today. Hope this helps. Stay tuned and do subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't. Thank you for watching.